hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel if you guys are not yet subscribed go hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you get an alert every single time i post today we are gonna go through a leg day we're gonna have a little focus on some gluteus we hit glutes three times a week now not about it but you know we got to do what we got to do for the gains so that's what we're gonna do today so i'm gonna take you guys through that a little warm-up sesh um but yeah we're gonna take some pre-workout today is a lonnie new breezeberry pre-workout we're gonna do like a quarter to half a scoop i just want a little bit just a touch not too much i'm gonna pop you guys like in my steering wheel so i can't even see it a lonnie new breezeberry it's my fave we're gonna do like a quarter scoop cheers so good you can never you can never beat this flavor for me so okay now we're gonna go hit us a little glutey day i have water all over my face okay let's go to the gym Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start with a warm-up. I grabbed a band because I haven't done this in forever, but I remember how much I loved these stretches. Don't even know the names for them, but they just feel so good on my hamstrings and my hip flexors while doing them. So I'm just kind of stretching those out to get started. I have had some really tight hip flexors lately and it just sucks. So really trying to focus on that. So this band felt really, really good and actually ended up making me feel amazing throughout the entire workout. So I went ahead and just led my whole warm up session with the band. And then I went ahead and went into some lunging and just really slowing those down, keeping my pelvis neutral and just lunging forward. These always are my go-to. They feel the best to me. So doing all of these, warming up is just essential. So making sure to warm up before every workout. I don't even know what these are called. I think I was doing them pretty close to the right way. It feels really good. It hurts really bad. So I feel like it's helping a lot with my hips. Um, but yeah, so making sure that you're always warmed up before your sessions, it's super important to make sure that you're mobilized and ready to actually allow your body to lift weight. Going into it stiff um, is likely for injury. So please make sure that you always have a warm up routine. Um, some mobility work, some dynamic stretching, super important. Before we lift, of course, doing lateral lunges. I love these. Um, then I went into just kind of stretching out my hamstrings. These always feel amazing to me. I feel like I could see a little hamstring definition there, okay? A little bit. We're trying. It's coming in slowly but surely. Excited for our next cut, but went ahead and did that. Felt really good. End it with some swings here before I went on into my legs and my glutes. Okay, heading on into our legs and our glutes, doing our warm-up sets. Warm-up sets are super important, folks. If you are not doing them, you should be doing them. They're just as important as your working sets. So we got this hip thrust machine or booty builder, whatever you want to call it, um, in like, I don't know, a month ago maybe. And I have been loving it. It's just so much more convenient than dealing with the stupid bar. Um, so I've been really using this machine a lot and just pumping out a nice little warm up set. We throw in two plates, hit about 15 reps of those. And then I went on into three working sets of about 10 to 15 reps. So my first two um, sets, I pushed myself to the 15. That last set, I pushed myself to 15, but I was like dying at the end of that. So really making sure that we're really pushing ourselves here. So ended up ending with three plates on this machine, which was a killer, but I can see some quads coming in, which gives me so much excitement with that quad striation. Um, and then we went on into our back squats. These have, these have been, you know, kind of my faves lately. I've been really digging them because I'm kind of loving focusing on that depth, really focusing on my form and pushing out the weight. So of course, again, we start it with a warm up set. Super important folks. Make sure you warm up your body before you just throw on, you know, 200 pounds on the bar. You have to work up to it. So I stuck around three to five reps today. I've been doing more, but today I just felt like lifting super heavy and lower reps. 
I also had a little incident today uh, before I started squatting and my shorts split. So I had to throw on my sweatshirt. Thankfully, I had it with me. Um, I got myself up to 185 here and I did um, feel pretty good when I did it. Um, my hips sometimes lock up and that's like my downfall. Really been focusing on that. But I stuck at 185 for about three reps. Um, and then I kept working myself up. I got myself up to right here, which is 195. And I went ahead and hit um, three reps here. And then I worked myself up to a single after this. And I ended up hitting 210 right here, which felt amazing. So I was pretty excited with that. I'm really focusing on um, form and making sure I hit depth um, as well. So then I went into barbell RDLs. I love these. I did a warm up set at 135. I did a working set at 135 just because I wanted, it's been a while since I've done these. So I just kind of wanted to do that as well. And then I went ahead and pushed myself up to two working sets of 155 for about 12 to 15 reps, which felt really good. Making sure you're hinging those hips, ladies. Don't squat this movement. Make sure you hinge your hips. You should be thinking about pushing your hips to the wall behind you. I went on into a single leg leg extension. These things kill me. Like I swear you think you're strong and then you go to do this and I feel like a complete weakling. And I, I feel like I can hardly even get that 15th rep up but we did it we did three sets of 15 reps um and then we went on into our calf raises these are a killer so i do two sets and i do about 20 to 25 reps with my toes inward and then we superset that with our toes outward and let me just tell you right now these are a killer i mean a complete killer i can hardly move when I'm finished these, but we're starting to see a little calf definition there, which I'm loving. You can tell it's so much more with your toes outward, which is, I just, I love seeing it. I love seeing it. Don't neglect your calves. Do not neglect your calves. Okay, so that is our legs and glutes day. Funny story, at the gym, I split my shorts. I went to go squat and I went in the squat room right up the crack it just totally split so that's why I'm wearing a sweatshirt you gotta love that love that for me um but we got it done we stayed we wrapped it around and we rolled on so I had a hole like right right in the center so yeah anyways thank you guys for watching leave a comment like subscribe follow the insta and I'll see you guys in the next video